Hey, what is up guys? Mr. The Reverts here. I hope you are having a wonderful day. Today, I want to talk about an update in regards to loot boxes and the entire ordeal that happened because of EA Star Wars Battlefront 2. And this drew a lot of attention from players of all video games with microtransactions such as Call of Duty, Destiny, Madden, NFL, NBA 2K, and all kinds of video games where you are able to receive content from a loot box or something very, very similar. But not only did this grab the attention from gamers, but also legislators and and people who hold political power all around the world but specifically in the beautiful state of Hawaii so the Democratic state representative in Hawaii Chris Lee promised that he would devise a plan to ban the sale of games that contain loot boxes to anyone under the age of 21 and this was all the way back last year in November now Chris Lee has submitted not one but two bills to the state house and then two to the Senate so four bills in total that target the sale of games with loot boxes to players who are under the age of 21 and that they don't clearly state the odds of winning various items. If these bills get passed, then they would require publishers to clearly label games with randomized loot boxes, that they are purchasable with real money, and that they have to reveal the probability of getting each item included in their loot boxes. Also, apparently more than half of the US states are looking into similar legislations, and the reason why is because they see the buying and opening of loot boxes are basically gambling, and I do agree with that. I've seen a lot of posts from players say that they've decided to spend $10 and then that's no bought into $20 and then finally over $100 and I myself too have done this way back in Black Ops 3 I spent hundreds of dollars on uh, supply drops in order to open them up and get a new weapon that just came out and looking back I feel so stupid for doing that because I didn't have a job back then and YouTube of course doesn't pay hardly anything so I had no way to make that money back also you gotta understand that the companies see this they see how addicting this can be and they probably do set up loot boxes to make players want to come back and spend more money just like how a person addicted to gambling would do it's the same exact thing if you spend over $20 or even $10 there should be something a player gets that's valuable from loot boxes in Call of Duty World War 2's case getting a ton of pistol grips is trash nobody wants that and by adding tons and tons of them into the game to water down your chances of getting something good is a terrible thing to do and I think these video game companies need to understand that when we are not getting any Anything good like literally nothing at all the pistol grips are garbage the calling cards are garbage the emblems are garbage we feel cheated and it's taking advantage of your player base this needs to stop and hopefully if these bills get passed then uh, we could start to see some change but I mean I don't know there could be some type of loophole here like I guess parents could just give in to their child asking for the game with loot boxes so they'll stop crying and asking for it heck I don't even know how this could work with games that have a second currency like cod points for example because you're not open up loot boxes when you spend your money you're opening up loot boxes with cod points when you spend your money so I don't know I just definitely feel this kind of stuff needs to be toned down a bit but then the question is will it ever because there are players out there who don't watch videos who don't read up on reddit or the internet about the games like that they're playing and they're being taken for a ride and I feel that these game designers have lacked motivation and inspiration to make their games better because they're just gonna make tons and tons of money off of microtransactions so I mean all they gotta do is just make somewhat of, of an average game and then add a system that's similar to loot boxes. I mean I don't know, we'll see what happens guys. I'm gonna keep updated with this, I definitely think you guys should too. Tell me your thoughts down below in the comments, also drop a like if you guys did enjoy and thank you for watching until next time, I'll see you later.